Hello, YouTube! Today, I got a special video for you. I started recently tying my very first flies. So for this trip, I was primarily using two different patterns. I was using a very small size 18 nymph, or I was throwing a squirmy worm for a larger, more obnoxious, bright presentation. Now, by far, what I had the most success with was the squirmy worm, and I had variations with beads for weight, or without beads to float a little higher in the water column or when it was shallower. So I'll throw up a picture of the variations of the flies that I was using to catch most of the fish today. Unfortunately, the two patterns that I was using are some of the more boring flies to tie, very easy to do for a beginner like myself, obviously. But with winter time, the waters being as cold as they are, it's really some of the best chances you can get to get these winter trout to eat. So hopefully once it starts warming up, I can throw some more interesting or intricate patterns and have some fun tying that. Hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll catch you on the next one. Yeah, we found that little uh, root ball there. No, oh, this is like a 24 inch one. <laughs> I'd say it's bigger than that. <laughs> It's at least tree fifty pounds. He ate the little baby one without a wax worm on it. He ate a baby! Come here! I'm thinking I shouldn't have sent you that picture. <laughs> no, Russell, there's nothing down this way. Those fish are so spooky over there. They're just like swimming in circles, like trying to figure out what the heck's happening. <laughs> Is the hole ruined? Nah, bro. Drift right here. <laughs> Did you eat my squirmy worm? Dirty dicks. Mm -hmm. Never mind. You're recording. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, baby. Aww. That's all right. <laughs> I don't care. Oh my god, I just got smoked again. <laughs> Dude. Yep. My squirmy again? Ugh, here we go. <clears throat> Almost double? Almost double. Wow. What? Devoured the squirmy worm. Yeah. Beautiful fish. No, I'm going to let her go. Yeah. 
I was hoping that we would get more current and dirtier than this so that maybe they'd spread out. Right. And stop packing up against the wall. But it just... Looked like it, didn't it? Yeah. That's why I was like, oh, 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 moving. There was zero tension on there, so I don't know if I was just rubbing up against the uh, rock wall or what. That was definitely a fish. No tension though. So I don't know if they're just swirling on it. Yeah, I'm feeling zero resistance when it does that. Third time's a charm. Uh oh. Fish is gone. Got me on a root or something here. With my second hook. It's wrapped up. There's something right here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm going to try and do my best to keep my knees off the ground. Because I bet you almost anything, I put it straight on some river glass. And, uh... Oh, it's, it's filming. I bet you almost anything, I had it on some river glass, and... It just, you know, went straight through. Oh, she liked my rubber. Gotta love that little squirmy wormy. Do you want me to get pictures? No, it's okay. Just pull it off the footage. Come on. Yeah, I'll probably just pull it off the footage. Is this on your jaw? There you go. Yeah. About time you caught some fish. Oh, come on. That was like my third drift through there. Oh, God. I shoved its nose straight into the mud. It just... Of course. Can't keep them off my stinking worm. All right, now I'm <laughs> Get in there, I'm gonna go over here. That was right on that rock wall. Please be on something other than my worm. Nope. Of course. Yep. Unreal. Pretty little fish.
Oh, that's the pheasant tail. We got a nymph fish. Oh, beautiful, right in the top of the mouth, too. Couldn't have asked for a better hook set. Look at that. Okay, calm down. I want to show you. I want to show everyone how I hooked you. Right there, just like that. All right. Just pop that out. Beautiful. Gorgeous little bow. Go be free. Nothing. I'm just gonna do a drift through here for the kicks and giggles then. Doubt there's anything, but you never know. Do some prospecting. Ooh, that was a fish. Yeah. There's no way that first one was current. Whether it was a trout or not, I don't know. Right? Or do you think it was just like bumped a rock and then came back? Yeah. That had to have been fish. That's what I was thinking, but it is a fish. It's a chub. Finally. No, it's a sucker. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. It's hog nose sucker. I can't even see my line, it's so freaking thin. Actually ate the squirmy worm. Not even a snag. Oh my gosh, dude. Their fins are like grippy as heck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those white suckers do not have that. That's actually really cool. Yeah. That is a trout. I just had him on. Saw, Saw the flash. Must have been the midge because that was like a second. And you said. <laughs> and you were just going to walk on by. Just cause, you know, just as well as I do, just because you're not seeing it doesn't mean there's nothing there. All right, I want you to drift through here because these things have seen my ink flies quite a few times. What's that? <laughs> I couldn't hear you. There it is. Called it. Not on the rocks, but that works. You don't even need the nut now. I just want to get him in the net so I can get the hook out and not lose him. Oh boy. And that is tag team fly fishing at its best. Beauty. 
I bet you there's more in there too. Yep, let's keep going. It's tag team fly fishing right there though. Rather than me, if we were solo, at, at that point I would have cut both my flies off and switched. Yeah. But with two people, you know, you can you have the benefit, you can do that. Yeah. <laughs> Another sucker, baby! Really? Woo! <laughs> Everything likes my wormies. <laughs> no doubt about it, eat too, like straight up in the mouth. They probably have food in the hole. First drift. And off. Mm. Get a hit. Oh, it's on the midge. Please, God. <laughs> oh, got it. Finally. I can catch fish on midge. Smile for the camera. Pretty. On the hand tied midge. Go. Be free. <laughs> <laughs>